on the delivery to the pass. Now we begin the second quarter on the floor for the Lakers. Cook, Taylor Horton Tucker, Delonte Kaycock, Alex Caruso, and Pusher Santana Kupo. Same five is finished the quarter. Off this take by Horton Tucker. THG counter to the foul. He was totally under control that time. Did a great job. Didn't make up his mind beforehand of driving and just throwing it up over. He just nice little stop. Anchored the pivot foot. Get the contact. And the fouls. Nice job. Stu, he played some good minutes in the uh, warm-up games, if you will, in the in the bubble, oh. the eight games before. Yeah. And you were impressed, weren't yeah. you? Yeah. I mean, I really think, especially on this end of the floor, the defensive end, I think that's the, really where he's going to really make his biggest mark. He could play minutes. There's the drifting by Williams. But not if he allows Lou to keep going to his left. <laughs> uh, Mike Trudell, more on THD. Yeah, Frank Vogel's been singing his praises uh, on the Zooms that we've been having after practice, and uh, I just asked him simply, hey, who looks good to you? And he brought up THD on pocket as he gets an assist here. So, hey, God, here's his goal. He continues to impress. The young man has a great attitude, a great spirit, comes to work every day with humility and just goes out there and picks people's butts. He's a heck of a talent, and he's had a great two days here. Uh, so uh, he's been impressed, and that, again, was on pocket. THD uh, turning some heads in practice. Oh, he turned a hit on that delivery right there. That was a nice play that he made. You know, second round pick by the Lakers. Come on, look at this. Yeah, nice little delivery. Nice. Look away. Very nice. nice. And he was hurt. Remember, he was hurt during yeah. the summer league. Got a slow start. Never really got into rhythm. And uh, got himself well. Of course, the entire league had March to August off to get better and to rest up. Unfortunately, the way the times are. In the world these days, bounce to Zubats and Paul George from behind. That was THT. Two can't throw it down. Take it by the Lakers. Here they come. The first one was blocked. The second one was challenged to the point where he missed a dunk. Fort Tucker, strong two on the dribble. Out to Cook. He doesn't hesitate. Keep the knock down. Off the hand of Zubats. He's got Paul George back in the game. So is Kawhi Leonard. So their two superstars are in the lineup. And the pull-up mid-range at the deuce that time. And you see Paul George when he makes that play like that. He, he seems like he is always under control because he plays at a speed that gives him the advantage. Alex running the show. That's not a good pass. It's behind Kaycock. Turnover. Reggie Jackson attacks. It's lost underneath. Was twirling. Was really had no place to go. He got bailed out a little bit and fouled by the Lakers. Oh, and I really didn't like the call because the foul was on the Taylor Horton Tucker, who was just there and trying to almost get out of the way after he got out of control. But gets the whistle against him and picks up a shooting foul. Oh, can we mention the Lakers that are not on the roster this year that had such a big part in that championship last year? It's going to take a lot of time. <laughs> well, I know, but I want to mention them at least right now. Avery Bradley, Danny Green. Dwight Howard, Rajon Rondo, and JaVale McGee. We can go on and on with stories and anecdotes about all of them and what they meant to that team. Yeah, so many, so many really uh, different types of holes to feel for the incoming Lakers that are trying to feel uh, the holes that was left by those uh, former Lakers. Avery now in Miami. Danny was traded to uh, OKC, then he's moved on to Philadelphia. Dwight, a free agent in Philadelphia. Rajon has found a home in Atlanta. And JaVale was traded to Cleveland. We'll see our old friends later on this year. And Tedekupo, Quinn Cook. Beverly will be checking in in a moment for the Clippers in a empty Staples Center. It really saddens all of us not to see Laker fans here in attendance. Thank you all of our patient, hopefully it will be sooner rather than later. Good to say it to you as much as it saddens them. I think all of us are. They are such loyal fans. It's uh, ridiculous to be here to enjoy their team. Yeah, the, uh, the Lakers nation worldwide, up at the Lakers worldwide uh, contingent. And you know it when we travel with them. You know it when you're online, just uh, reacting with all of them. You're missed. Paul George. Bumps to that Caruso. He's travel, yeah. He did it out of control and couldn't anchor that 50 foot. And Caruso did a good job of shutting him off and created the turnover. And, you know, we talk about celebrating, too, and, and a lot has been made that the Dodgers didn't get a chance to do it either. 
And uh, what a double it was for Southern California and Los Angeles for the Lakers and the Dodgers. And now maybe my, my Rams can take <laughs> It's all on you. I know it is. I know you put that all on me. But as a genie said, and LeBron said, someday soon uh, we'll celebrate together those two franchises. Look from the outside. Read out. It's off the iron to Zubac. We're in the second quarter. This is the first of four preseason games. And then 72 regular season games split up in two halves. And we're not even going to get the second half schedule until uh, later on in uh, February or March. This COVID may uh, pull a little wrench into the plans of some of these teams and some of these games. We hope well, not. But uh, one, one, one way or the other. Yeah. yeah, it could be that, you know. Uh, hopefully that they get things under control to some degree that fans would be allowed and they would change the schedule here. And there will be some arenas that will have fans. Uh, word has it, OKC will, Miami will. Uh, lies against a lot of things, but uh, that's uh, certainly the word that we're hearing. Turnovers, 12-5. Clippers with 12 turnovers. It's no different than the, if you look at the NFL right now, so... Some stadiums have fans, some stadiums don't. And slipping and down and hopefully okay is Wesley Matthews. And uh, we got a whistle. Nobody in the game in double digits. Everything being spread around. Seeing lots of players so far as we will throughout the course of the preseason. Well, after the turnover on the slip by Wesley Matthews, uh, Quinn Cook immediately took the foul. And now they're going to review it to see if it's a clear path. It's a play by Quinn. Yeah. I want to make sure that Wes is, of course, he went uh, through the horrific Achilles injury a few years back. Anytime you can battle back from that. You've done something. You've done well. And so Alex didn't get her a little bit on that play either. It was not that play. It was a couple plays yeah. earlier where he got banged up a little bit. Uh, so like you said, hopefully it's nothing serious. I'm sure they'll take all the precautions necessary. Here's the play that they're looking at clear path. There's the foul. And when it's that close like that, when you're side by side, you just let it go. And the referees, they got to do it by the book. Yeah, just know. like it's the seventh game of the finals. They're going to referee the same. And I want them to. Yeah. Of course, we know what's up. These two teams will play on opening night. The 22nd, it will be a Laker game. You'll be able to see that game on TNT. It is a clear half. So, uh, free throws and then the basketball. Then AD and the Lakers on Christmas against Luka and the Mavs. That will be the marquee game. Talk about another exciting player. Luka. Oh, uh, yeah. It is really, really fun to watch. And that guy and Luka have ridiculous respect for each other. LeBron and Luka Doncic. And uh, Luka's got the uh, the eyes and the respect of everybody. Oh, absolutely. Speaking of respect, that was exactly what LeBron said. Remember his speech right after the title? Put some respect on this franchise's name and put some respect on mine. And guess what? We are and we will continue to do so. Kawhi normally a really, really good free throw shooter. This is one of two, but they will maintain possession. Now, San Diego State University, four time All Star, two time champ. I saw him play in college a lot. And, uh, did you know? Did you I see it? I, no. I, I thought he would come into the league and really be first team all defense every year. <laughs> had no idea he would be the offensive player that he is. So that's a tribute to the amount of work that he put in. That's a good dish counted in the foul, and Zubac's off the deck, and he'll shoot. You know, and, and it shows that a lot of people didn't think that either. He was a 15th pick in the draft, which is not towards the end of it, but again, you read draft now, he's number one or number two. <laughs> he, was, he has really turned himself into a remarkable Offensive good. Yeah. I've always said uh, since the last few years that he's the best big hand shooter I've ever seen. Normally when you have hands the size of this, you're not a very good shooter. You know what 
surprise me. I was looking at some of the numbers from last year as they crashed the boards and taken by the Lakers. He had the only triple double in Kawhi for the Clippers all last year. It was the only one he's had in his career. One triple double. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I hope somebody can double check that for me. Please help, because that's a. Uh, I read that coming into tonight. I couldn't believe it myself. A guy of that kind of talent. Here is uh, George. Boy, he'll do that. Over Southern California. Native, grew up a huge Kobe Bryant fan, and Ben, we think about you every day. Well, I did a nice job, cross over, come back to his left, train to three, and give the clips a four-point lead. Here, Schroeder is back out on the floor. Why did you skip over collection of design sneakers? I love that. A lot of guys collect sneakers. Trust uh, I know. Yeah, I know. A, a lot of them. One of them is Mike Trudell. Right, Michael? Oh, he's listening. <laughs> yeah, he's tying up his sneakers. In fact, he was on the... He was on the set the other night, and uh, he, had his, uh, he had his new his new kicks up on the desk just to show off to everybody. Here is THT, Taylor Horton Tucker. There's Nick Batum. Batum certainly had an interesting career, Stu. I mean, came in with a lot of fanfare and had a couple of really good years. Yeah, up in Portland. And had, been, uh, had some uh, injury problems. Yeah, injuries has been the key to him. He's had some, some injuries over his career. Ball to George in the corner. High arc. Doesn't connect. By the way, Caruso uh, had gone to the locker room. Uh, replay. I think he's in the corner now. Here, the couple didn't work on. Might be a uh, hip injury. Remember, he had some hip issues last year. Oh, number 33. Here he is getting worked on. Yeah, that's, uh, that could end up being very bothersome injury. When I say bothersome. It's there, you feel good, you go out, you make a quick move, and then you're irritated, and it just hangs around all season long. So you got to take care of that one, and you take care of it in a hurry. Got 11 days until the opener on the 22nd. Oh, good move, man. Attention, that Horton Tucker had one where to go. He went right to the basket. And he came off that weak side screen yeah. before receiving the ball. That's the way he was at. dht has got five points. Still nobody in the game, double figures. And an offensive foul for the Laker basketball. Six and a half to play, two point game, second quarter. Moving the screen against the Clips. I'm going to give the ball back to the Lakers, see if they can either take the lead or at least tie it up here. That should be our new Kevin Kelly, by the way, in the game. I want you to show that really quickly for me, Stu. Biondi and Kevin Kelly, number 25. I love the last name, basically. Oh, he calls me Lance. You know who his uncle is? No, I don't. Oh, Kevin the Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. One of my favorite people. There he is. He was uh, actually on, on the roster last year. Double figure points once last year in 12 games. Had a dozen against Atlanta in the second season. Seven all of Florida State. Is Wes Matthews. All right, what you love, love so much about his father? You said he was one of, oh, one was, of your favorites. You know, one of your favorites. Great energy guy coming in off the bench, worked hard, didn't take anything from anybody. But, uh, Wesley Matthews Jr. is second one. And he's just, and he's a three point specialist, uh, but he really emphasizes a defensive end. As I said, he takes the highest scoring perimeter player just about every night. And Kevin Kelly underneath, and he'll go to the line. Right now, Leslie is again assigned to Kawhi Leonard. So, doesn't get any tougher than that. Yeah, and, and, and oh, I remember oh, hearing an interview right, right after he signed, or he, he came on board and he just said, well, I know I'm a 3 and D guy, but I wanted everybody to know I can do more than that. I mean, he wants, as, as all these yeah. great players do, they put yeah. the work in to be all around players. And, and what you know for one thing, it's hard to shake that one thing. You know, you don't get credit for some of the other things that you do. As long as you get credit for that one thing, <laughs> should be happy. There's a lot of players, that, or some players in this league, that uh, don't get credit for anything because they're not very good in any one particular area. You mentioned again the great job that the Lakers did, kind of reshaping, retooling, if you will, after a championship. Got a little younger in some respects. Uh, kept the uh, contracts to exactly where they wanted to go. Rob Blink and Kurt Rambis, Brendan Jean. 
uh, Frank Vogel and staff, and of course Rich Paul had a lot to do with a lot of it. Such fun sports clients. We've got on the ground Pat Beverly, his former teammate Montrez. They don't want to hear anything about it. You know, the chemistry was great last year for the Clippers. No doubt about it. It wasn't anywhere close to what the Lakers had. And I, I thought that was a 50-50 ball. You know, let that play go. I mean, Montrez had his hand on it first. He, he ruled that he knocked Beverly out of bounds. Again, this Clipper team, they had, they had a lot of injuries. No doubt about that. They did a lot of load managing. No doubt about that. Oh, Caruso's coming back. Uh, that's good news. Uh, give it a try. At least. Yeah, they're going to probably want to see how. Right. Said, Go out and see how it feels. Let us know right away if it doesn't feel right. But again, this Clipper team had their highest winning regular season percentage since 1450. Yet again, didn't get out of the second round. Never gotten out of the second round. One of three franchises in the NBA that have not gotten out of the second round. We normally don't talk about other franchises, but this, this, this season's three one advantage. Uh, no excuse for yeah, losing this year. It, it, it shocked everyone, except Denver and their followers. But uh, Denver's pretty good team. Yeah, no, really good. Don't get me wrong. Real, real good team. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You know, that's got to be a jump over a travel, but they call it a jump. Yeah, Denver's a really good basketball team. They're deep, like the Lakers are now, too, again. And they've been uh, cohesive. They've been together for a while. Yeah, we've had nothing but a praise for that Denver team for a long time. And Noel BJ has had the same. Of course, good to see LeBron again. Not slowing down at all. St. Vincent, St. Mary High, 35 years of age. This will be his 18th year. The rookie of the year back in 2004. 18 years and no drop-off. That, that's the eighth wonder of the yep. world. I mean, come on. Led the, led the league in assists last year. He was first in assists, a career high, second in triple doubles. You know, in the minutes, 34 and a half minutes, he did and put up those numbers in like his fewest minutes of his career. As Kawhi, the little floater in the lane. Leonard. Just one for three from the floor. Coons is back in for the Lakers along with Fruiter, Harold, Caruso, and Matthews. It's a veteran group out there for the Lakers. Montrez, again, mid-range, perimeter game, not quite where he would like it to be. But such a monster in and around the rim. Patool lets it go. Good defense yeah, by the Lakers. Yeah, he was just looking for a foul there. The whistle didn't sound. We've got five minutes remaining in the half. Schroeder try to get it to Harrell. That's not the way turnover, Lakers. Pat Beverly will bring it to the front court. Nobody there to help out. So he says, why not? And you know what? Kawhi was on the other side of the floor, and he motioned to Beverly, go ahead, take the shot. Why not? <laughs> exactly the, uh, the first thing that came to my mind. Caruso. Schroeder. Who's had that game-winning shot in the bubble, which was a thrill for everyone. That's not a good play by Harold to keep it alive. Who tried to lob it underneath? Let's hope Trez is all right. He went down a little bit awkwardly. And with the player under him. Yeah, but you move under him. Two hits up to foul. That's going to send the Lakers to the free throw line. It's going to be Coons going to the line. Cold there. Lock and foul on the tube. And little no look, look away. He's doing that new no looker. You know, I mentioned kind of an up and down year for Coos last year. Didn't have the breakout that we anticipated, but uh, if he does this year, it worked out. Doesn't mean he had a bad year, too. In fact, I thought he improved in a lot of aspects defensively and rebounding towards the end well, of the year. Well, he had a lot to uh, sacrifice with the addition of Anthony Davis. Yeah. He had to try to find another nick. Greatest announcer of all time. 
Agreed. Yes. Would always say, and it was one of my favorite things, listening to both of you and growing up listening to Jim. On the, on the Lakers World Champion Basketball Network. Yes, you won't say that. Because as I used to tell you, know, <laughs> it's just the NBA champions. They didn't beat anybody from the rest of the world, really. <laughs> and what would Chick say? What would, what would his remark be? Ah, he's the world champion. <laughs> just like the world champion. The world champion. Laker basketball network. <laughs> so what did LT do tonight when he introduced him? Called him the world champion, NBA champion. That's what it was. He put it on. Ah! Um, it's the chick, of course. The banners up on the Raptors say World Champions. Which is not the way it's taken by Pat Beverly. Beverly quickly into the front court. Little trail flat pass down. Oh, good dish by George. And the scoring is Kevin Kelly. What was even better was the catch and stop by Paul George. Got himself under control. Could have very easily kept going and picked up the offensive foul. Like to find himself down by eight. Toe of the line. Baseline is Dennis Schroeder. Schroeder looks to attack. Baseline. Here's the floater off of the window. Trash is there. Tip it up, tip it up and miss, but it's knocked out of bounds. The last touch by the Lakers. Let's take a look at the last clipper bucket. It's a play where Paul catches it and then just a little catch and quick dish. Easy deuce. Good job by Paul George. Remember we talked about Kawhi's one triple-double being a, possibly his only one of his career. That has been confirmed. Thank you, Joey. Thank you, Aaron. Both for confirming that. Over 600. You confirm it before you said it? No, I did. Oh, I, mean, I believe he gave it to me. <laughs> and where I read it. But it just seems so hard to believe. Yeah. I think that's, uh, that's why I question Kennard. Pulls up corner of the key. Gonna hit the heel, come off, one shot, long rebound, taken by Cook. We'll see THT when it's done. We've got 3 5 remaining in the second quarter. This is game number one. When the Lakers start the regular year, they'll have four straight at home. And then 14 of 18 on the road. Crazy schedule after those first four. This is in the key and a whistle and a foul. Oh, he did a great job of knowing the shot clock. But then they threw the ball into the mid post to Trez. We were probably about seven seconds on the clock. So he didn't have a whole lot of time to make a play for somebody else. He had to make a play for himself. Again, a short week of work for everybody. Tonight, this is one of five NBA preseason games as everything kicks off. Games will play either three or four. I saw that graphic on Trez. There's the NBA with him. Double doubles off the bench with 11. You know, overall, he was ninth in the league in field goal percentage and 20th in blocks, but amongst reserves, you mentioned it, first in double doubles, second to Schroeder in points off the bench, and third in rebounds. At career highs in minutes, points, rebounds, and a career low, though, in field goal percentage. Did make a three last year. Oh, for 18. Ooh. I was going to say, how many did he get? Oh, for 18. Uh, uh, so he's due. No, he's overdue. Yeah. Gennard, they'll work on perimeter. This is Fan. Number 14, Terrence Fan. Goes to the dribble with THT right on his hip. Still can to shoot. We're going to get a traveling violation on Patterson. How many plays or times have you seen that particular play called in the NBA? So often. And we talked just the fundamental basketball play. you got to just master the fundamentals and all the other fancy stuff comes easier. And take all the turnovers for either of these teams with a great assault in the preseason because there are always a ton. 14 right now for the Clippers, 9 for the Lakers. And there's another one. Taken by Quinn Cook. Scoops ahead of the pass. He goes all the way up. Scores. Defense to offense for the Lakers. This is too much speed in transition that time. Quinn Cook put on the afterburner to be at the deuce. That's the first Laker. Bucket in almost five minutes. And we're still only down by five. Lakers as a team. Shooting just 36%. Clippers at 44%. Comes up with the rebound. He has eight boards already in the game. Schroeder attacks. Oh, and Harrell's there to follow 